Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Well, this week I've had a chance to uh, test out my system. Gone from uh, one extreme to the other, from being almost uh, dead to fully charged several times. We went from uh, about eight inches of snow to a couple days of rain, and now we're back to snow. I've had a warm front come in. We had uh, steady and gusty winds that uh, I lost a few shingles over the first time. And then last night we had the same thing with a cold front coming in. <clears throat> so everything has been a uh, stress test. I run the uh, lights in the garage and stuff until the battery was almost depleted and my uh, automatic charger come on like I was supposed to when the battery voltage got down and I just thought I'd show you what we got going here everything's in bypass these are showing fully charged battery voltage is uh, 14.2 this is the windmill it's on bypass so anything it makes is going up here to this resistor and the water wheel is running at uh, 76 volts and anything it makes is bypassed up here to this heater and that's giving off some pretty good heat uh, I'll take you in the house and show you the battery monitor yeah, here's what we got battery showing fully charged we're going back and forth between anything going in the battery and not it's just so minor we're at 99.97 uh, amper hours and 100% charge 14.07 volts and like I say we got 75 volts uh, 0.4 amps 1.6 amps going and that's more or less running running the inverter so we'll take you down to the water wheel and show you how that's doing we have an excessive amount of water we've got some flooding going on various places where our uh, engine show is which is a couple miles from here we got water right up close to the buildings hopefully it doesn't get any worse so go down to the pond okay the breeze has kicked up again a little bit wind isn't really messing up the audio. You can see we got lots of water. All right up to the top of the dam. The overflows are working like they're supposed to. the front side. Now we get much more and I'll have to open up this other gate or else I can pull one of those uh, overflows out so it uh, comes from down lower. There's the old smart drive. We're on along nicely. 
And this might come on about two amps of uh, 75 volts. So we'll go up to the uh, house and I'll turn some loads on and I'll show you how it acts when you turn the load on. That's it set back up here in the garage. So the windmill right now is what about six, seven and a half amps, 14.1 volts going to the resistor. The water reel is 76 volts, about two and a half amps going to this heater. <clears throat> and we have nine watt load. The two solar things are shut down. So I'm going to go in and turn on my shop lights, which will put between 350 and 400 watts load on. And you should see a little green light come on here and here when the voltage drops enough for them to switch. So let me go do that. Okay, windmill just switched, and how this one works, the, this one will see the load increase, so you'll see this voltage drop down slow. When it gets down to 25 volts, I think it'll switch back over so it all goes to this. If you guys want to be patient, we can watch and see. And we got a 391 watt load on right now. And the solar controllers, they won't come on for a while. That's one thing I'm very disappointed with those. The battery will get down to sometimes less than 50% before they'll come back on. Now when they wake up in the morning, they're fine. They'll charge until the battery gets full. But once they shut down, they just won't seem to come back on. Now if I turn the solar input off, uh, sort of simulating night, and turn it back on, they'll come right on and charge. So apparently this, this one is still trying to decide what it wants to do. Let's see. Oh, it just went. So we got seven point, well, it's still, it's still trying to find a spot. It was at 7.7 .7 amps. If you can be patient, we'll give it another minute and see if it settles. And when them uh, warm and cold front was going, windmill was cranking up. Right, it maxes out a little over 10. I think that's about all it can do. I, I almost believe that probably the material in the uh, stator kind of limits the current it'll make. slowly get a little stabler thirteen point four volts battery voltage fourteen point five amps cycle through one more time. Okay, 38 volts in, 5 amps, 
and 13.4 volts going into the battery 14 amps so the water wheel is doing well so let me swing you over here to the okay there's the solar controllers and as you can see they still think the battery is fully charged Now to me, it should act like this. They should supply the load, not take it from the battery. So if I disconnect the solar for just an instant, turn it back on, and I'll push this so you can see the amps, you can see it's charging now. Of course, we don't have much sun because it is snowing out. And I can do the same with this one. This is PWM, this is MPPT. This one will take a while. Got to think about it. Okay, here we go, we're starting. So we're getting 4.4 amps from that. 3.6 amps from that. You know, the wind right now is only making just a whisker. And 14.7 amps from the water wheel. So like I say, I've gone from one extreme to the other a couple of times this week. Everything has worked as planned. So I am happy. I got a lot of time involved in getting this thing the way I wanted it. So, and it's working the way I thought it should. <laughs> so if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I have, uh, my son brought me another lithium battery to, to check out. So. We'll be doing that next. See you then.